Hello there everyone, this is Roberto Matthews again with a quick tip for you. Um, I've noticed that a few people were looking to see how to use CSS to give you uh, a different uh, words in your div, for example, if you hover. So for example, I want to be able to hover over this line of text and be able to get this line of text. Okay, so I got started already. I went ahead and wrote out my HTML, and the secret is um, you have to have three divs. You have to have one main wrapper div, okay, and then you have to have the div that you're gonna see normally, that you're gonna see as soon as you load the page, which is in this case the red div ID here. Of course, you can name the ID anything you want. And then uh, this is the text inside that normal div. And then within the div itself, you're going to create the div that's going to um, pop up when you hover over the original div. So in other words, when I hover over red div, this blue div is going to come up with this something cool text. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, style our divs so we can see what's going on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is style our wrapper. And to make everything easy, we're going to um, give it a giant border. Okay, so here's our border. And of course, the next step is to give it a width and a height. Now, to make this simple, we're going to give it a width and a height that's um, nice round numbers. So width 250 and height of 100. Okay, so there's our standard div. Now we're going to center it on the page a little bit here. So we're going to uh, give it a margin of 120 from the top. And auto for the left, sorry, for the right, zero from the bottom, and auto for the uh, left. And now we have it pretty much centered. Okay, so that's pretty much our main wrapper. Now, within the wrapper, we have um, the red div, and we're going to also stylize the blue div because there's some things that are similar to both of them. That we don't want to have to oops we don't want to have to um, type a few times so in, in that case what we're going to try to stylize here is the height and width of both of them so in order for them to both fit inside the wrapper the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a large block that says click here for something cool and then another large block that says something cool and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about once we style it. So let's go ahead and make the width, both widths, 250 pixels. And we're going to make both heights 100 pixels. Good. And then next we're going to uh, center everything. So And then we're going to center it vertically. Oops, yeah, vertically. So uh, and as you can see, um, the blocks are coming out a little bit better. But just to show you exactly what's going on, let's stylize each one of them. The red div is going to be red. And the color of the text is going to be white. Now, I could have done this up here because both the color of the text for the red and the blue is going to be white. But I wanted to show you that, of course, you can change the different colors if you want to do different things to it. And when it comes to blue div, we're going to do the same thing, only blue.
Okay, and now we can really see everything coming um, across. Now, if you're not familiar, um, once what what's happening here is that since we created uh, the wrapper div to be a height of 100, uh, and since we uh, basically put one div after the other, because even though it's inside this div, this blue div is inside the red div, it's actually happening in order um, after the div, okay? So basically it can't fit this way because it's shorter than 250, so it's got to go beneath it. And so we see both of these, but it's kind of leaking out. It's actually overflowing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide that overflow. Okay, we're going to go to the main wrapper here. And we're going to create that to be hidden. And now it's actually not there. Now the div is, of course, there, but we just can't see it. It's not visible. It's hidden. So now comes the secret code here for uh, so to speak. What we're going to do now is upon the hover, so we're going to go to our red div here and we're going to give it a pseudo of hover so whenever we hover over it what's going to happen. Now any of you familiar with this you could probably use this for links um, so that it would change the color when you hover over it and etc. But now we're going to do the same thing here. What we're going to do though is we're going to change its margin from the top and uh, what you probably didn't know is that we could actually use negative numbers. We don't have to go from zero and above. We can actually go below zero. So we're going to go negative 100 pixels which means it's going to go up 100 pixels when we hover over it. And there you have it. Basically what we did was we pushed it up to show you exactly what's going on, let's change this to none, which basically cancels out the overflow. Here's what we had before. And as you can see, the red is actually going above. But since overflow is hidden, we don't see that happening. And it gives the illusion of the hover to be changed. Now, if you were allow me um, a little bit, let's just show you that this doesn't even have to be text. It could be a link. It could be um, a picture. It could even be audio. So for example, we're going to put some audio here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and give it some controls. And we're going to source it. Now I'm taking my source from a Dropbox. Okay, and uh, we're going to stylize the audio a little bit here so that um, it can actually fit in our box. So now when I hover over it, here's our audio and it actually works. And when I come back, so you could actually put here instead of click here for something cool click here for audio sample and that way you can have a um, very clean page with a whole bunch of boxes just like this and when they hover over it there's the box and what's great is that you probably don't hear this but it's still playing even though you're away from it see so um, if you have any other questions let me know please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful day.